If you look at history, ideas have mattered more than anything else. We live in cultures that were shaped by ideas created 2,000 years ago, 3,000 years ago. We still live with them today. So by focusing on ideas, I think we can contribute more than anything else uh, to the future of humans. We need massive institutional and systemic change in order to adapt to the challenges of the 21st century. We have to be a different kind of organization. We have to be looking at these problems much more foundationally. Fortunately, we, we have an independence to look at the issues that we see on the horizon. We're actually a think tank that thinks. We're not trying to promote a specific line. We're trying to think with the times and we'll transform ourselves as the world itself transforms around us. We decided to uh, really focus the program around four specific areas. What the next phase of capitalism will look like and how we can help design institutions to make it more inclusive. How do we improve the policy making process? The series of technologies that are emerging today are throwing into question how we define what it means to be a human being. All of the institutions that we've built on top of those distinctions. There is a planetary imperative for the first time. It's not just global. Planetary in, it implies the, the whole ecosystem, the whole planet that we live on. That's why we've got a center in the West and a center in Asia. We can think across disciplines. So we engage with policy makers, but technologists, philosophers, artists. People who have, who have made change, who've been in government, uh, and who know how to make change. You want the tech entrepreneur types who come from issues from outside the box, innovative way, and you want global intellectuals, Nobel laureates who have thought about the big issues. We are willing to take risks by engaging with people who are much younger, who have untested ideas, because the future will only uh, be invented if we allow change. We have three basic ways that we try to engage ideas. One is by celebrating uh, existing great ideas. Probably the most prominent example of that for us is the Begruen Prize, which obviously celebrates uh, philosophers and cultural thinkers who have uh, had really breakthrough ideas. The second thing we want to do is we want to sponsor new ideas. And so we want to be an innovation center for ideas. And lastly, we want to disseminate great ideas. We publish Noema Magazine, we have a book series with the University of California Press, and we're trying to get the best ideas that are out there from a non-ideological perspective or from people all over the world. But the ability to bring together people from different walks of life uh, with different sets of experience to bear on issues requires some resources and imagination, and we had both of those things. This is a collective human project. We're going to succeed or fail together. Because at the end of the day, what does the Institute do? The Institute is really helping humans, helping individuals in their work, in their passion for something, in their creativity. That's really, at the end, what we do. We're an enabler of ideas.